and welcome my name is Aichan Bot and today we are going to play Geometry Hero in our let's play this game was actually sponsored so I got a steam early access version here as you can see in the left corner um, the game is already released on steam you can check it it's but it's still early stage and I think it's about five bucks or something I wanted to take a look into it and then by taking a look into it I tried to record it but somehow the first turn the game wasn't really recognized as a game but now I found a different configuration to set it up. So this is basically my second round on the game so I already know what's expecting me but actually the game is much better if you have no idea what's coming up and you're just reading the title Geometry Hero and you're like okay I'm just gonna press start what can happen and then you end up in this world you can see this game is actually you can choose between english and korean which says this game is actually made by a korean developer called qsoft um yeah i already played the game so i could continue but for the demonstration purposes i'm going to start a new game so you can get the feeling i had when i actually played this for the first time so i went like what the fuck i'm a triangle okay i'm a triangle i'm going to move around with a and d like left and right I'm going to use the K to jump and double jump, alright. Then I'm using the J to slash in the direction I face basically with the triangle. And my enemy is a circle. So now I jump and slash, right? W, oh, slash up. Darth Vader skill, let's go. Can jump and slash in the air. J slash in the air after down hammer. Okay. L to dash. We had that already. We can dash in two different directions. Thanks for the subscription. Uh, press escape to open setting panel. A lot of gibberish I do not understand. Okay. And now we go into town by moving around like this. Then press W to enter the town. So the portal. Okay. Then you will have stuff to upgrade if you have bought them with your crystals but we don't have any crystals yet because we just started the game and now what is this you can check skill information and test skills okay so basically i have already played all the skills here until well without the util i think those four i tested out they're pretty cool so we'll add them later in game um and here is basically your stage and if you start playing the stages you will understand what this game is about okay, so basically you are the geometry hero okay. and you are collecting geometry souls which actually decrease over time you can get items from enemies you kill with a chance of current soul retention skill enemy so as fast as possible to collect a lot of items okay so diamond Okay, then items are stacked and will be returned after stage clearing. Basically, old arcade mode. Welcome to old school arcade games. The items effect information can be found in the menu information. Okay, okay. So this will, each time you clear a floor, the gamete so is filled. Okay, nice. But we get just the percentage. And here you could get your heal if you actually was wounded. You see your life points left up in the corner. It's about 400. And for example, for 10 crystals, you can't get 60 heal and the price of the healing would increase from floor to floor that's already what i found out and in the end it's really hard believe me it's getting harder and harder so your enemies basically are circles and squares maybe later there will be also different enemies it's a 2d beaten up game i would call it 2d skill beaten up game I think the idea of using like squares and triangles is actually pretty fun. I don't think that anybody has this kind of idea. See, now you could heal up here and then go to the next floor. Just see how far we can get.
The squares being ninja and pulling out stuff. Can acquire skill through the skill cell after claiming the stage we return in your skill cell. Oh, what the that was unnecessary. So now we can use a skill. And I have actually learned this turret was actually the best one. I don't know what the ult tilt was actually. A long line will rotate at the point of your cast um, pull touch enemies to the center of it. Okay. Actually that works fine with this one, isn't it? Maybe we can use it then as a the last skill. I'm gonna start with the turret now. I think this is the best skill. I'm gonna use it on you. Confirm it. Uh, do I need magic? I don't know. Well, let's be it. So now we can test the turret. The turret is going to help you kill everything, which is good. This is a merit of the skills. They are going to help you survive this. Why not? Okay, the difference between this one here, like the silver room, which will actually give you some of the crystals, is uh, sometimes it can't even kill you, that's why. Let's still use it though, just for the demonstration, because I almost died in the gold room, I remember. Oh, finally, I got some of them. Nice, one shield. Not worth it. <laughs> not worth the effort. Mobs are not physically affected and have a huge damage. Always be careful. Okay. The ultimate can be used once on the fifth floor of every stage, and after completion comes all geometry souls. It can only be used once per stage, and the number of shots increases depending on the amount of the reason. Okay. So basically the mobs are getting harder and harder from like from floor to floor. And the ultimate can be only used once. So not only on this floor, but if I use it I cannot use it on the next floor turn. It's basically gone then. That's why you should always save it when you are in a really really shitty situation. Can be changed into our and it is really quite one. Okay. Well, let me keep. Got a skull. that skills okay now we're going to use that one confirm on I now we will get some heal again see now the heals are more expensive than before Javel room okay 
Jeremy room is still okay. The gold room was which one almost killed me. It was just crazy. I had to use my ult there. So now I can use like both of my skills. There's a lot of unga bunga here going on. Get a lot of crystals. Nice. See now you could heal up because you got a lot of crystals. And then go sixth floor. So this one was good and one heal okay should i go gold room or not this is a question no i don't think so let's upgrade 20 percent skill size nice okay just for the demonstration purposes of it we already died once in the gold room let's try not to die again <laughs> Come on, man. I think we will have no chance but to press R for win. The gold triangle is just too strong. dead man oh finally okay take frenzy or emergency protocol let's take frenzy now we need to really heal see that's what i meant go through almost died there okay now we have like no s crystals left still go level uh, stage floor seven see how far we can get Third skill that would be really helpful. that stage was actually okay it was even more like to recover now we get our third skill for this time we are going to use this one because i haven't used it yet confirm finish line on o okay so now we are full equipped now enter stage eight floor eight let's go
ultimate wombo combo. I think with all the three skills it's pretty easy. survived it. Oh nice. Let's upgrade the frenzy. Nice. Can we upgrade another one? Oh nice. Heal up. Okay. I've never been this far. Yeah let's try. Maybe we're really getting better. Spam all your skills. Let's go. But my hand is actually already hurting. Oh, finally. What? Not over. Oh, it even lagged because there was so much action on screen. Are you kidding me? no ultimate left holy mother no they got us they got us so this is basically your metro hero. My arm is already hurting. We are going to lose some javels, but believe me, if you revive and die again, you get no javels at all. That's why we are returning to town. So, look, now we still have like 355 crystals, which we actually could use to upgrade something now. We could upgrade our sword, we could upgrade lightning, shield, hearts, skulls. Oh, but it's not enough. Hmm. Can I upgrade attack damage? Not enough. I see. So this is how it's going to work to upgrade it. And then here on the other side we can test the skills which we don't have yet. Now oh. enter skill test room. Nice. Open skill set or hex explosion extreme. Okay. Firework. Didn't know that. Tree explosion. Okay, very flashy. Oh <laughs> nice. So this is a skill testing room, and then we can go back to town. Yep. And the gameplay is majorly, majorly as you have seen, um, 
like old school arcade you just go from stage to stage and if you die just out there is a, like a continue you can buy it with your stones or the crystals but there is no save game so gg yeah i think for an indie game this is a pretty good one it's very creative and the idea of just using squares and triangles and circles it's quite simple but it's very yeah it's basically brilliant but I can't imagine when they pitch the idea to sponsors to like give money or budget to make this game people would win like what are you pitching what the fuck yeah I couldn't imagine like that you want to make a what beat it up game like old school arcade with squares and triangles and circles who beat each other up like in a hack and slay what the it's pretty hard to explain, but if you play it, you see it, and the music is super dope. I have to admit, this music is really, really, really dope. Sound. Um, gameplay, language, credits. Uh, special thanks. I cannot read all Hangul. Do you have that also in English? Director, the fortune teller, alright. So they must have a lot of fun making this game. We comment, like it. Oh, there's a soul. <laughs> there's a Twitch soul. <laughs> okay. Twitch made game, I guess. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, let the units also seem like it. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this preview and you will get the game on Steam. And as you can see it, uh, I think these people belong to the streamer's team too. They are using a lot of emojis. I recognize from Twitch. Sadly, I cannot read this. Maybe someone can translate and make an English version of the credits. Would be really nice. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, get the game out on Steam. Oh, Twitch Kio. Okay, I'm gonna check this out right now. Okay, just gonna follow this guy. See ya. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.